Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be talking about sample sizes that made me purchase the full size. And some of these products I don't even have anymore. I've already used them up. A lot of these are the six. I'm sorry. There are definitely products I have within my collection right now that I'm considering buying the full size because I really like the samples. So if you'd like to see a video on things I am considering purchasing, based on the sample size, just let me know down below. But uh, yeah, let's get right into this video and now there is somebody mowing them on. Excuse you. Uh, so the first thing is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and Anti-Aging and this is definitely like an OG kind of thing. I feel like we've all heard about this and I received like a tiny like 100 point perk or something a while ago um, but after receiving it I was just like okay I like this I'm gonna purchase the full size and I don't think I would purchase the full size again just because there's so many drugstore options out there it's like when I was first getting into high-end makeup that I got this so this is probably like entirely too old at this point but you know it's a thing so the next one I'm gonna talk about is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate matte bronzer and this i'm actually trying to use up for my project pan and i received like a little sample thing that in like an ipsy or something i don't even have ipsy anymore that's like how long ago it was but this is one of my favorite bronzers and i actually used up the little sample thingy and immediately wanted the full size one still really like this and we'll probably honestly purchase it even though it's expensive um, I don't know if you guys remember when Urban Decay first came out with their vice lipsticks they had this like sheet thing that opened and it had a bunch of the different shades and you could try out you got it at like Sephora um, and one of the shades I purchased in particular because of that sample thing is the shade easy and it is just this really bright red and it just was calling my name. I love this shade. Every time I wear it, I get a compliment on it. It looks so different from the shade I'm wearing right now. Oh my gosh, I went so vampy today. But, um, absolutely, oof, excuse me. Absolutely love this shade. Very happy that I purchased it. I do have a few of their lipsticks. I think I only have one other Vice one, to be honest, because just more into drugstore things, but I definitely purchased this because of the sample. Another one that I don't have anymore is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Foundation Primer. And I had received a little like thing like this essentially uh, from Sephora. And I was just like, this is the best primer I've ever tried in my entire life. And it still is one of my top faves. It's just expensive. And I had purchased, um, they have a few different sizes. I don't remember which one that I got, but I remember purchasing it after I received a little sample and I was obsessed with it and I used it up very, very quickly. And yeah, I have not repurchased it because I have a lot of primers, but we'll probably repurchase at some point. Uh, the next thing is the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. And again, yeah, I've used this up. Um, they're definitely bright. I see all the time on Sephora's like point perks and just, mm. I got something from them recently actually. It's the, uh, coconut skin smoothie priming smoothie priming yeah that is what it says moisturizer <laughs> actually have not even tried this yet but I got this as a point perk recently from Sephora I feel like they're always on there and after getting their cleanser I just kind of like went crazy and started buying all their stuff because I really like them and for a while I stopped using them and now I'm kind of like hopping back on that bandwagon but yeah, the next thing is actually the sample that I showed you. It is from Smashbox, it's their Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I have one around here somewhere and I can't find it. Um, so these are like little sample things. I feel like I get these almost every single time I order from Ulta. And I always keep them just in case like when I'm traveling or something, and these are really easy just to take with me. And I really like Smashbox's um, foundation primers. Always recommend them to everybody. Just really like them and definitely purchase because of the sample. So the next one is the Elizabeth and James Black Nirvana perfume. I think is what it's called. Nirvana Black, Black Nirvana, one of those two. Um, and I don't know where I put it, but I promise I did purchase it because I had received a little sample thingy from Sephora and I still love this scent. I also really like their bourbon scent. Oh, it smells so good. Um, 
And I think I just, I just like their scents in general, plus they're cruelty free, and I feel like cruelty free perfume is harder to find. And I don't even wear perfume that often. And I bought a perfume based on the sample. What is that about? But yeah, definitely still enjoy that smell. Uh, the next two things are lipsticks. And the first one are these Tarte, Tartist Lip Paint. They have two different ones. There's like a dry matte one and a creamy one. This is the creamy one. And I had purchased one of their like little holiday kits with a bunch of these. And um, after getting this, I went and purchased this one, the Graveyard Girl one, which I'm still obsessed with this shade. I mean, still obsessed. And I don't know what's up with me in these vampy shades lately, but it's happening, it's a thing. Um, but yeah, after purchasing that holiday thing two years ago, three years ago, however long ago, I don't know. I think they do it every year where they have a set of like little minis like this, but after purchasing a little set, I was just like, I love these, I'm obsessed. I know, like, I never hear anybody talk about these and I've heard people say they don't like them. I love them. <laughs> it's all personal preference. And then the last thing is from Kat Von D. And this is a little mini of the uh, studded lipstick. And this is in underage red. This was again another like 100 point perk or something. Don't remember. Or like a code something. This is also from I want to say two years ago. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Um, Really need to check on how old my makeup is apparently. But uh, I have quite a few of these. They're all back here now. Uh, I really like this formula. I really like Kat Von D in general. But um, this was the first studded lipstick I ever got from her because of that. And it's a little sample. And definitely went and purchased the full sizes after. I know they're on, on sale at Sephora right now. Don't know if they're going out of stock or not. Like if they're just discontinuing them. Please don't. I love them, especially this packaging. Like, can you not get rid of this packaging? Look at it. Um, but anyway, that is all I have for this video. I didn't have too many products, but still kind of wanted to share a few things with you guys. If you've ever purchased something because the, you loved the sample size, if you're like me where you get something and you're just like, oh my God, I love this and I have to go get the full size, just let us know down below. I'm really curious to know what you guys have tried out and actually went out and bought the full size. Um, so a lot of times I know I get samples and I'm like, wow, I'm glad I got the sample because now I know not to get the full size, which if you guys want to see a video on things where I didn't purchase the full size because I didn't like the sample, just let me know down below as well. I feel like I'm telling you to comment entirely too much now, but I'm very, very chatty today. I don't know what's going on. Uh, probably entirely too much coffee. Probably just need to calm down. But anyways, that is it for this video. If you did like it, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. Please be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the thingamajigger. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.